Hello everyone, and welcome to my British Royal Family official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Ruler Harry and Meghan Markle apparently have a fundamentally the same as view with regards to how they need to bring up their two kids, Sovereign Archie and Princess Lilibet, yet they need to ensure their youngsters start things out as they get ready to pursue a few significant choices in regards to their family's future. Ruler Harry and Meghan Markle are presently in questionable times, with things having crested since their choice to step down from illustrious obligations in 2020. The couple at present live in California, a distinct contrast from their past life in the restrictions and obvious extravagances of illustrious life. After suffering some setbacks in recent months, such as the termination of a multi-million pound contract and an apparent award snub, the couple should put their two children first when deciding what to do next. Sovereign Archie and Princess Lilibet ought to stay as the main need in both Meghan and Harry's brains, with the couple cautiously picking their best courses of action in light of what might be best for them. Dissimilar to their illustrious cousins, Archie and Lilibet's prospects appear to be genuinely obscure and their associations with their UK family members appear to be, unfortunately, non-existent. It has as of late been said that Meghan and Harry are taking a gander at moving out of Montecito, their home since venturing down from illustrious life. Although this is still unconfirmed, the couple may be considering moving to Malibu, a well-known city with a lot of famous people. Back in July, it was accounted for that, in spite of the fact that conversations were still in the beginning phases, the couple were quick to draw nearer to focal Los Angeles. However, a recent security guard stated that this would be a big security risk. The Beverly Slopes based safety officer said that the move will represent a greater gamble for gate pressures and paparazzi, as these are significantly more regrettable in Malibu than the couple's ongoing home of Montecito. Having said that, it raises the question of whether this would be beneficial for Archie and Lilibet, who have been kept out of the public eye up until this point. Archie and Lily's privacy could be jeopardized if they moved to the bustling beach city because the couple is thought to have an even higher profile in Malibu. The couple will likewise have to consider their kids while picking new activities, meaning, ideally, no more shots focused on the imperial family, Except for Meghan's mother Doria and her niece Ashley, the two children appear to be estranged from both sides of their families. Any further allegations and cases about the imperial family will probably destroy any possibilities of Archie and Lily having future associations with the regal family. Meghan and Harry ought to make certain to put their youngsters' necessities first and consider the ongoing second to be a new beginning. It was a C. Clock from Buckingham Royal Residence. The imperial family supposedly hindered Meghan Markle from saying specific words on suits, as per the show's maker, Aaron Korsh, and an equivalent for chicken may have been one. I will say, and I think Harry put this in the book, since I heard individuals discussing it, the regal family said something regarding some stuff. Korsh uncovered in a meeting with a Hollywood journalist on Tuesday. Relatively few things, incidentally, yet a couple of things that we needed to do and couldn't do, and it was somewhat annoying, he added. According to Korsh, Markle, 42, was supposed to perform the line, my family would say poppycock, but the royal family decided against it. The illustrious family didn't need her giving the signal, Korsh asserted about the royal residence. They would have rather not placed the word bowl in her mouth. I assume on the grounds that they didn't need individuals cutting things together of her adage C, key. So what did they transform it to? A real word of slander. He uncovered that they needed to change nonsense to balls, T, all things being equal, a switch he seriously didn't really like. The suits maker didn't know how the illustrious family got their hands on the contents, yet said they did, and that he became mindful of their entrance since he would get input. He mentioned additional modifications. There was maybe one or two more things, but I can't remember. The show, which was about a fictional NYC law firm, starred Markle as paralegal-turned-attorney Rachel Zane from season one in 2011 until her final episode in April 2018. 
just weeks before she got married to 38-year-old Prince Harry. Notwithstanding, Korsh noticed that the Duchess wasn't the one to let him know that she was unable to convey the line. No, Maven didn't call me, he said. I can't recollect. It could have been her agent or the directing producer at the time. They didn't like having to tell me anything any more than I liked having to hear it, whoever it was. Korsh proceeded to make sense of that, he stated, nonsense, into the content as a gesture to his family, who frequently utilized the outdated shop talk term while examining delicate points. The creator acknowledged to the publication that I did not like it because I told my in-laws that was going to be in the show. In any case, Korsh said he was thoughtful to the change since he knows how web savages work. I'm almost certain it got made sense of for me that it was about that splicing potential. I had some compassion since I wouldn't need someone doing that to her possibly, he said. Furthermore, truth be told, I didn't think anyone truly would, yet additionally, I don't have any idea. People are irrational. The Post connected with agents for Markle and Buckingham Royal Residence for input. On June 17, the same day as King Charles V's 75th birthday parade, known as Trooping the Color, the Off the Air series became available to stream on Netflix in the United States. In its initial experience on Netflix alone, the show hit 3.1 billion survey minutes and is right now positioned number six in the decorations week after week top. For the royal family, rules like a poppycock ban are not uncommon. Throughout the long term, a few illustrious individuals have pulled back the drape on Buckingham Castle's conventions and uncovered a portion of the things they're not permitted to do. Queen Camilla confirmed in 2018, while appearing on MasterChef Australia, that members of the royal family should not consume garlic due to the frequent interactions they have with others. What's more, this previous April, Kate Middleton might have disrupted a reputed regal guideline by wearing red nail clean to a community gathering on Easter Sunday. It has been widely reported that the late Queen Elizabeth E. preferred Essie's ballet slippers, a light pink nail polish, over bright colors. In addition, former royal chef Darren McGrady recently told Harper's Bazaar that Prince Louis, Princess Charlotte, and Prince George, the children of Prince William and Kate, are not permitted to sit with their parents at official dinners or on holidays such as Christmas. The Duke of Sussex's Netflix docuseries Heart of Invictus has been delivered on Netflix, yet we be watching. Vote in our survey beneath. Sovereign Harry's Heart of Invictus series was delivered on Netflix toward the beginning of today, August 30, and is the most recent undertaking created by Archwell Creations for the web-based feature. The Duke of Sussex's five-section docuserie centres follows the contenders and coordinators planning for the 2020 Invictus Games in The Hague, which were deferred until spring 2022 because of the coronavirus pandemic. Harry, who is a chief maker for the series, likewise shares understanding into the significance of the versatile Games' rivalry for harmed administration faculty and veterans, which he sent off in 2014. Talking in a trailer for the series delivered recently, Harry said, The Games doesn't zero in on what causes the injury yet truly about the recuperation and how to be important for a local area once more. The series was created as a component of Harry and Meghan Markle's multi-million pound Manage the Real-Time feature. Heart of Invictus is the second result from Archwell Creations and follows the couple's docuseries Harry and Meghan, which circulated last December. PR master Maya Riazd told The Mirror last week that Harry's series will show he hasn't failed to remember what means quite a bit to him, she made sense of. Since Invictus Games is his creation, this documentary will undoubtedly showcase Harry at his best. Due to his service in the military, he holds this issue dear. I think it's important that he made this documentary because it shows that despite moving to the United States, he still cares about what matters to him. The series has been delivered leading the pack up to the following Invictus Games, what start in Dusseldorf on September 9. Harry expected to venture out to Germany for the event and Meghan because of go along with him a couple of days after the fact. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.